Alright guys, so this is a wannabe how-to YouTube video. Who knows what it is. So, um, I'll be cutting in and out because this is my first time doing this. So I'll just put all the videos together once I do it. But uh, this is to show you how to use your Turnigy 9X and how to flash the uh, firmware to the ER9X. Um, here. Whoa, there we go. Anyways, um, so you're going to need some wire clippers, obviously. And I ordered this off eBay. I'm not eBay, I'm an idiot. Um, ordered this off Hobby King. Uh, five bucks. USB connector. Uh, connect to the computer. And this came with it. It's actually... It's actually like this. I just snipped, snipped the wires. Um... Anyways, this, and I, I snipped the wires in half right here and uh, went ahead and split them. This is actually um, a plug I can use with this to uh, plug into my KK2 board right here, right into the board, and then use the other end of this plug and uh, plug it directly into the USB right here, just like that, to uh, flash the KK2 or flash ESCs or whatnot. Um, so, uh, anyways, that aside and this aside, I went ahead and split the wire right here. Um, obviously, the red one. Let me get a little closer. It's kind of hard looking at an angle. The red one is your number one wire. And what wires we're actually going to use to solder these to the inside of the board inside the Turnage 9X is wire one, wire two, wire five. 7, 9, and 10. So, uh, if you can see, wait, I'm trying to figure out what the camera is. If you can see, let me zoom in. 1, 2, 5, 7, 9, and 10. So, let me go ahead and split these wires, put some solder on them, and then I'll come back. Alright, appreciate it. Alright, guys, uh, I'm back now, I guess. I went ahead and put some solder on the end of these and uh, took apart my Tarnagy. Um, you're going to have to uh, take this pin off right here uh, to actually pull it apart. Oh well. But, let me see what I can get in. We're going to be soldering um, all across this board. Down here, over here. So, um, make sure I guess you got a pencil tip solder. Um, I changed up my tip on my soldering iron uh, real fast. I got my pencil tip right there. So uh, I'm going to see if I can't get some of these soldered. Um, and then I'll show you all the locations. So um, I guess just stay tuned one sec. I just got done soldering all this uh, to the board. Um, here is the connector, remember? Um, here's all the wires down here. Um, see if I can't zoom in or get closer or something. Sure I can put this up there. There we go. The red one's one. One is right there, the middle one with the red one. Okay. Two is over here. Yeah, hold on. Tell you what, I'll just post a diagram of it. It'll be a lot easier. Just like that. Alright, so let me point them out real fast. Instead of doing the diagram. I'm too lazy to look it up. So the red one's one. I've pointed that out many times. There's number one right there. Okay, well, number two is this one right here. This white one. Okay? We don't do three. We don't do four. So the next one's five, which is down here by this yellow, right, right there. Hopefully you can see this piece of solder I'm pointing with. That's five right there. Um, seven is right here. Nine is over here. It's right under one. Um, nine is actually this pin right there, under one. And then 10 is the ground, which is right here. So again, let's see if I can get a different angle on that. 
one red, two, this one right here, five over here, seven right there, nine is right under red, I can't lift it up, there we go, uh, let's zoom in, nine's right under red, which is right there, and ten is your ground. All right, now guys, um, what some people do is after they got all this soldered, you know, they put it back together or whatnot, and they actually make a hole in the bottom of it, like right here, where this plug sticks out of the hole so you can plug it into the USB. I don't want to do that, and so what I'm going to actually do is Dremel, uh, use, use my Dremel tool and... Uh, I marked it, I thought I did. You probably can't see. I marked it with a sharpie right here. I'm just gonna dremel barely any out so the wire the wire just sticks out of here. So I can push this back when I don't need it and leave it like that. And when I do need it use it for the computer, I can pull it out of the radio. Because I don't want to make a hole right here. Because one thing is if I make a hole right here and just glue it like a lot of people do, then like say this is right here and this is it's just glued. My USB is right here, and if it's plugged into the computer, I'm going to have to pull my transmitter as close as I can to a USB port, and who knows what's going to get in the way. So it would be easier if I could just pull it right on out and plug it straight in anywhere like that. So uh, uh, let me dremel this, and I'll put it back together and show you guys. All right, guess who's back? Yeah, me. I know. Who cares? Uh, so I uh, dremeled it like I said I would. See if you can zoom in here. There's a little hole, barely you can barely see it, and uh, I can pull it out when I want to use it and push it back in when not. So that's what I did. All right, next guys, um, I went to HobbyKing.com and uh, went to the cable and went down here, scrolled down and clicked Files and User Guide which then within the user guide I um, scrolled down until it said well actually before you do anything on your computer you need to remove your Turnigy 9X battery you don't need any battery connected to it so just take it out um, and then uh, I went down to the drivers off the user guide it gives you a link to uh, get the drivers at so I went and clicked this and now I have the uh, driver right here so, um, all right. Um, so after I downloaded it, I saved it over here to my ER9X and uh, unzipped it in here. I got my folders right here, whatnot, uh, the uh, drivers. So, um, the next step is to plug in the USB driver. Um, don't plug it into the transmitter yet, but uh, once you plug it in, it's going to fail when it tries to install a new new driver software over here right there installing it's gonna fail anyways so uh, you're gonna wanna go over here and go into device manager boom alright guys once you get into uh, device manager you're gonna want to go over here to the uh, USB that failed the driver failed um, you want to update uh, browse and then you're going to want to browse for it on your computer. Uh, let's see. I have it in my ER9X folder. Um, I think it's going to be the 1.2.4.0. And that's the main folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And next. And can't verify. Blah, 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 blah. Suck this. Install the driver anyway. Come on. Right, let me hit you up when it's All right, done. Guys, next, um, I went to Google and typed in ER9X and it brought me up the first two results the firmware and the editor. Um, I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab, let that sit back, and then uh, click this one. <sighs> Important notice, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, scroll down. 
we're going to want the manual binaries. Here we go. Latest binaries. ER9X. You're going to want to right click it actually. Um, and then save. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Oh man. I don't know where I want to save it. Where should I save it? Let's just go to favorites. Desktop. ER9X. We'll save it there. Boom. Alright, so the next thing after you close out that window is go back to the EEP ROM tab, whatever. Right click this. Oh, come on. I can't even see my laptop. Save. Save it in my ER9X file. Save it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, it's done. Woohoo. Alright, exit out. You want to close? Sure enough. Okay, so if I go over here to ER9X and go ahead and install. Do you want to allow the following program, an unknown publisher, blah 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 blah? Yeah, screw you. License agreement. Uh, next, 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 next. Install this and that. All right. So there you install that. All right. Boom. All right. So uh, once you launched or once you got done installing that junk, um, at the end before it closes, it says launch. And so I went ahead and clicked launch. Um, this is what it brought up. Go ahead and download the new new one. Let's see if I remember how to get back in here. Favorite to think. Desktop. ER non X. Uh let's just save it there. Uh sure. Alright. So uh here I'll put it on put it to the side. Let me back up a little. So the uh, next thing is, if you go to configure, under port, make sure that says USB, and OK. Alright, so the next step is, I plugged my uh, Turnigy 9X into the USB, and, oh crap, it came on, see. So, um, then what you want to do is go up here, let me zoom in on this there we go, go up to this one this is a flash firmware and you're gonna do this little booger ride it, sure enough let's hope I don't screw anything up <laughs> alright so once it once it's uh, riding and whatnot uh, once it's done I'll come okay, back. Uh, mine just got done, hopefully yours did too <laughs> so uh, go ahead and press OK, and whoa, it's gonna see. I get a light over here. There we go. I should turn that on at the beginning of the Dagum video. Uh, anyway, it says alert. Who cares? Press any key. Uh, press down. Message. E e. Anyways, there it is. It's programmed. Blank. Did did blank blank. Throttle not idle. Reset throttle. Press any key. Oh, dadgummit, I've had it on. Who cares? Put it down to idle. And press any key. Let's press down again. Boom! Now, uh, you got Turnigy ER9X. And that's what's up. Alright, so that's it. Uh, that's how you flash it. Uh, solder it, wire it, whatever. You whatever. Um, the only last thing to do is to do your throttle calibrations and do all your endpoints or whatnot. So make sure all these knobs, black little knobs, the switches, everything is in neutral or zero. Um, and then you just go into the settings and calibrate it yourself. So uh, that's how you do it. You're welcome. Subscribe. There's a thumbs up. I'm holding the camera, so who was that? No one knows. Alright, peace.